Well, guys, so, um, yeah, I just got off uh, with um, dispatch from Erie County Sheriff's uh, Department. Um, and uh, I actually wound up going into uh, to report an incident, non, uh, non-emergency. And, um, and, uh, it, like I said, I tried that number a couple times. I got hung up on it. I was like, oh no, but I finally got through and I actually got to talk to, um, officer Mallory. And, uh, what was pretty cool was he remembered me. He remembered me from talking to him, um, uh, one time out in another town, you know, uh, he, he was checking on me because I had pulled over. I was just having, you know, one of those moments where, you know, God, what do I need to do to, to explain what I know to people? And, um, and he talked to me for a long time and he remembered me and, you know, he obviously, and because he had spoken to me and understood my heart, I guess, um, things went a little bit different, but he gave me his badge number, 1880. Um, I know that these guys just, they're just, sadly, they're looked at as just a bunch of numbers out there, but that's how they identify themselves. And I guess that's what it is. Right. But, um, but I got my report filed. He assured me, uh, that, you know, there was no, there shouldn't be any kind of an issue there. Um, and so on. So, uh, (sighs) Innocent until proven guilty. It sure doesn't feel like I'm not feeling very innocent. Uh, I mean, I know I am, but I'm not feeling very innocent here. And that's what sucks. But I love you guys. Um, I'll try to get another video out there um, for, uh, I don't know, something. (laughs) Uh, I'm trying to show, I'm trying to show everybody how to maybe see God even though he's invisible, how he works. Um, and, uh, and the idea that none of us should be fighting with each other, not the Christians, not the Jews, nobody. We cannot beat this battle if we're all against each other and pointing fingers and judging each other in that way. Um, it, it just can't happen. There, you know, there are good people that don't, know God or claim Jesus name or something like that. There are definitely good people out there. Uh, it says that in the end days that God will write the laws on our hearts. And I'm telling you that there's plenty of people that those laws have been written upon their hearts, uh, as God said he would do. And unfortunately people with books and, uh, rules and, uh, words and, and quote unquote names. Okay. They're just not seeing it. And, um, and so in a strange way, it's sneaking up on us and that's, what's ruining our world. Um, uh, the thief, the thief is showing up. And when, what Jesus said, when nobody can work, in other words, you're trying to do the good works that God would have you do. And you can't because, you know, it's night. In other words, to say that the, Um, at night, God's light is not shining on your deeds that they're exposed, right? What did Jesus say? If you don't believe who it is that sent me and all of that, you know, judge me by my works. Look at what, what it is, what is it that I do that proves who it is that I'm in allegiance with, you know, to be one with the father and, and who it is that I work for and what my intentions are. And that's, uh, and that's where we're at right now. The thief that we were warned about that would sneak up and rob the house or whatever, that's, that's basically fear. Fear is what causes that. When we fear each other, um, we're so afraid of each other and maybe even afraid of trying to help each other that what happens is we start to weigh every single little thing that it is that we would maybe do. We, we, aren't willing to pay the price to just step out and courage and do the right thing and what needs to be done. But I love you guys. I'll catch you later. Shalom.